Hi everybody. Um, today I'm going to show you a recipe that my aunt has always made. Now it's one of those recipes that you could definitely make it for a holiday, but you could also make it for other occasions too. So if you have, you know, something coming up that doesn't involve a holiday, this would be perfect and it's quick and easy. They're called coffee squares. Um, I'll just show you how I have this. I have three cups of flour in here, a little bit of salt, um, and a teaspoon of baking soda. Here I have a cup of oil, two eggs, a cup of brown sugar, some um, vanilla extract, and I'm just going to beat this together. Um, and then in back I have some hot coffee, but I'm, I want it to cool before I get beating um, everything together because I don't want it to coat the eggs. So I'm just going to beat this together on low. You want your oven preheated to 350 degrees. So, and don't worry about the hard clumps of uh, brown sugar that happens. It will just melt and work its way into your recipe anyway. Um, but I'm about to fix that. Anyway, so... We're going to slowly add the coffee. It's not quite as hot. This is one cup of just plain black coffee. So we're just going to gradually add it in here. Okay. I'm just going to have to mash that brown sugar down with a fork. Um... No biggie. It will just work its way through anyway, so I'm not even going to be concerned with it. And then from here, we're just going to add the dry ingredients. You can add it a little bit of it at a time, and it will um, be easier to work with you. Or you can just add it all at once. <clears throat> you also, I forgot to mention, you also want to grab like a square cake pan, cake, cake pan uh, like a 9 by 13 and you even if it's um, a non-stick coated pan you still want to grease it because this stuff can get quite sticky now usually shoot <laughs> usually I'm making cookies but I thought this would be different than regular cookies because they're bars. Okay, I'm going to increase the speed here. And you could do this by hand if you wanted to. That's perfectly fine. Or you could just use your handheld, which is also fine. Oh my goodness. Right. <laughs> Before I make any more of a mess. Now I usually just hand these off to either Toby or the kids. But I want to try to get as much of that batter off these things as I possibly can. See, it's rather sticky. So... That's why you're going to want to grease up your pan as much as you want. Do you want these for a snack for later, Toby? Sure. Okay. I'll stick them in here for right now. Now, um, let's see. Now that I've washed the batter off myself, 
I'm going to get my bowl scraper because I refuse to call this a spatula. I refuse, I refuse to. You put this in something hot, this is going to melt. So, anyway. Look at me being a rebel and all that. <laughs> all right. <laughs> all right. I am going to lose my grandmother's bowl if I don't get a hold of this. I'll tell you. of brown sugar. I'm really tempted to take it out because it's it's bugging me. But if I took it out, it would take all the batter with it. I may just leave it alone. It will melt down in the oven. I don't know why I'm so focused on it, but I am. Oh, that one part will just be kind of caramelized and all that. <clears throat> we had a child get into our brown sugar. And I usually like to keep it all sealed up because anybody that knows brown sugar is one of those things that you know, once air gets to it it turns into concrete. Well, my child thinks it's a lot of fun to get into. So, Okay, so from here, I have a little bowl. It's just a little dusting of granulated sugar. I have some chocolate chips, white chocolate chips, and some walnuts here. You could put any kind of topping on this that you wanted to. It's fine. Um, it can be topped with M&Ms. It can be topped with nothing. I wouldn't mix this into the batter, but I am going to put it on the top. Probably won't use all of it. And that one piece is just ugh, irking me. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> okay. I don't know if we're going to add all that sugar, but we are going to add all this topping to it. From here, we're just going to throw this in the oven. And this, I can't remember how long it takes. I think it takes about 20 to 25 minutes. But when it's done, I'll come back and I'll tell you how long it was in there. Hi, everyone. So the coffee squares are done. Um, they take about a half an hour in the oven at 350 degrees. Um, it depends on your oven, though, and probably where you're living, too. So, as you can see, I already have them cut into little squares, and I have Toby's right here. So, he's going to do a taste test for you guys. So, until next week, guys, live, laugh, and love. As you can tell, I don't have my store-bought teeth in, but I want to be able to eat this thing, so. <laughs> I'm letting my, good, my dentures soak, and I'm going to have a bite of this. Does that look good or what? Huh? To be honest with you, I was a little skeptical of coffee and all that together in this thing. I'm not anymore. Make them. You love them. Okay, next time. Adios.